All right, welcome to Tabletop Ready Miniatures, guys. And tonight we're talking about Star Wars Legion. Um, so the newest announcement, the newest news, is that uh, Boba Fett and the Advanced Recon Scout Troopers, and so the Scout uh, Troopers for the Empire, are going to be released uh, in Q3 of this year. So um, as it stands right now, you have the, the core you know, set and the Wave 1 items, um, and then you had the announcement of Leia and the Fleet Troopers, and then you had the announcement of General Veers and the Snow Troopers, or maybe the Snow Troopers and Veers were announced first, I don't remember exactly. But however uh, it played out, um, General Veers and the Snow Troopers are out, We've already got ours, and we're putting them together, and going to be painting them and making some battle reports with them. Leia, <coughs> excuse me, Princess Leia, or Commander Leia, General Leia, and the fleet troopers are coming out on May 24th. Um, and then they announced the, uh, I, I don't remember what they're called, some kind of scout troopers for the rebels. And then you also had, and let's take a look at that real quick. Cause I can't remember. Um, products. Let's just take a quick peek. Cause I can't remember what they what they called it. Um, or what they called them anyway. So then you had Rebel expansions. You had the Han Solo Commander expansion and the Rebel Commandos unit expansion. So those are the two that have. Uh, so these two will be coming out. On the 24th then they announced these two and we'll go over those guys too uh, I only had you know decided to start doing these kind of videos uh, recently so and it was basically because of Boba Fett so uh, and then after that they announced that Boba Fett and the uh, scout troopers were being released and these guys were coming out in Q for uh, the third quarter of 2018 so I kind of wanted to go over my thoughts and what's been, you know, said about them, plus what you can kind of see through the cards. So, <coughs> excuse me. So for Boba Fett, um, you have a couple of new tokens, as you can see, and those are because of the hit one of his special abilities. Uh, these are called, where are they? Oh, we got to pull up his special card. With, he has a whipcord launcher. Now this is one of Boba Fett's command cards. I'm assuming, if we look, nope. See that's a, a pip three or a pip two. So it looks like he has one, two, and three uh, pip cards. But his pip two card is the whipcord or the pip one card. Excuse me, is the whipcord launcher, which is for free action. Choose an enemy trooper at unit at range one and in line of sight. It gains two immobilized tokens and suppression tokens. So these are the immobilized uh, tokens that you can have. Um, so uh, that's a new token. I don't know how they get taken off, whether you have to recover or if they're like um, ion tokens where once you activate, they all come off. Uh, will be It'll be interesting because literally they're having to bring out new rules for, for Boba Fett. So those are immobilized tokens. And then this is a new symbol that's not found anywhere, which they call, what is it, an operative. So Boba Fett is not a commander. You have Luke, Leia, and Han Solo. They're all commanders. You have Darth Vader and General Veers, which are commanders. Boba Fett is not a commander. He is an operative, but he can only be used by, uh, what is it called, the dark side. Star Wars Legion Army is going to have up to two operatives, letting them pair. Uh, Boba Fett does the will of the Empire, so he can work alongside either Darth Vader or General Veers. So, um, so like I said, he's got the Whipcord Launcher. That's one of his. And these these uh, command cards, they all only you can only issue an order to Boba Fett, but it gives Boba Fett different weapons. And so let's pull up his quick. And now these are this is magnified. So his two pip command card gives you the ZX flame projector. So during Boba Fett's activation, he gains the following weapon. Uh, close combat to range one, he has a red blast spray. 
So, uh, well, that's interesting. So, like I said, he basically gets a flamer for that turn, which is and, and not just a flamer, a red flamer. So, the the, the amount of hits you're going to be getting is ridiculous, especially if you're targeting a, an infantry unit. Also, one of his um, upgrades, which I don't know what that upgrade is. I don't know. I don't know if I remember seeing it on other different cards, but um, anyway, he <coughs> for six points, excuse me, he gets gains hunter, and maybe that's like a title or something. While attacking a wounded trooper unit during the roll attack dice step, you may gain one aim token. So for that ability of hunter, or that title of hunter, uh, whenever you're fighting a trooper unit that already has, uh, you know, people wounds or you know in miniatures that have died you get to uh add an aim token which is actually really cool so it's like it'll help you finish him off and as you can see they talked about boba fett and what he has uh he has jump two and if any of you know obviously luke uh, has jump as a jump one where you basically ignore uh that that height and this is an action so a move for a move action he gets jump two he has Arsenal 2, which is actually fantastic because that means whether you're using the whip cord or the flame projector, you know, whatever, uh, or whatever his 3-pip weapon is, you'll get three different types of weapons, but you can still fire one of these other two weapons. Um, or even better, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use the whip and then maybe his boot spikes. So boot spikes, he gets two reds, and that's close combat. And then he has the wrist rocket, which is range one to two. Two black dice, impact one. And then he has his uh, his carbine, his E3 carbine, which is range one, range one to three. Two black dice and pierce one. And so, I mean, those are both, you know, it's kind of like a whatever you need him to do. Or you could probably, I wonder if you could shoot two different units with your two different guns. That would be interesting to know. Either way, I mean, they're they're fantastic in combination, especially if you're trying to take on a tank. You know what I'm saying? To have impact one and pierce one, uh, you know, four black dice. You know what I'm saying? You could theoretically put some hurt on a you know ATR, ATRT or something like that. So uh, Arsenal 2, which means you can shoot two weapons, obviously. Uh, Bounty, after setup, place a victory token on an enemy commander or operative. If you defeat a unit with... A victory token move that token to you at the end of the game if you have a victory token gain that token so it sounds like bounty gives you an, an additional win uh, you know what I'm saying condition uh, during the game if you can get Boba Fett to kill whoever's got the bounty on their head so that's kind of cool like to give you a little bit of flavor to your battle it's pretty pretty awesome he has sharpshooter 2 so he has Sharpshooter 2, which is, you know, you reduce the cover uh, of what, whoever you're shooting at by 2, which means that you can, you know, you're basically, <coughs> excuse me, you're basically uh, negating any kind of cover that people are hiding behind when you're shooting at them, which makes, you know what I'm saying, like, again, anything that he's shooting with, uh, fantastic, because they're not getting any kind of cover save. And then what I am most impressed about and why I think he is totally worth the hunt. He's worth a hunt. He, he costs 140 points, but worth every penny of it. The man has impervious. So while defending, if the attack pool has Pierce X, roll X additional defense dice. And he has a red defense uh, you know, he rolls red defense dice. So, Luke Skywalker with his Pierce 2. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> now, you're not afraid. Boba Fett can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Luke Skywalker and not be as afraid. Whereas, like, you know what I'm saying? Luke jumps into, you know, a pile of stormtroopers and just starts hacking them away. You know what I'm saying? Boba Fett can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with something with Pierce. Which is actually phenomenal. Uh... So that's really exciting. So he only has he has five wounds, three courage, and he converts both surges. So holy crap! So you think about this, Boba Fett. It's a six-sided die. You have three shields and a surge. So Boba Fett has a three-up save. He has the best save in the game. 
on top of having impervious. That's incredible. Boba Fett is a beast for 140 points. I don't know how who wouldn't bring Boba Fett. I mean, yeah, if you take and you don't even have to take his command cards if you don't want to. You or you could take situational ones. It's like, well, I want this. Uh, you know, I want Ben Boba Fett to have a flamer, you know, so then you put that one in. Just depends on what you're looking for with and what you want to use him for. So that's Boba Fett. I don't think there's anything else that they go over um, that we didn't already touch. But, uh, yeah, I'm super excited for Boba Fett. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm super excited for Boba Fett. I think he's going to be an incredibly fun uh, unit to play. He is 140 points, so think of it like... You could take, you could probably take two units of stormtroopers for Boba Fett. E actually, you could easily take two two trooper units for Boba Fett, and I'm talking about like decked out. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a stormtrooper unit, if you want an extra stormtrooper plus, uh, you know, DLT is 78, 78 points or something like that. So then you add that on top of 79 points. So you add, <coughs> you know, basically 80 points. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so 160 points. Okay, so you take out the stormtrooper. So you run a four-man stormtrooper squad with a DLT or DL19. Uh, you know, uh, heavy weapon upgrade. So you, you're running a five-man squad with a DLT. Is you know what I'm saying? You can get two of those. Two of those for Boba Fett. So uh, and that's what double the double the wounds. Uh, double the weapons, but uh, I think he'll be a lot of fun to play. It'll be it'll be it'll be interesting to see uh, how you can put him in your army, how he can affect. We have a couple of other upgrades that we're not quite sure how they work, plus another one of his command cards that we don't know what it is. So, all in all, I'm super excited. Got to have him, Boba Fett, uh, an operative, and it'll be cool to see other operatives. What you know, what they're gonna bring out, and I'm wondering how they're gonna. You know, obviously, they'll provide uh, uh, rules updates when they come out, so we can better be able to play them and understand the rules and how they all interact. So, so anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Super excited to see them. Don't forget, we are a uh, an assembly and painting studio. Uh, we take commissions. If you're interested in doing a commission with us, whether it's Star Wars Legion or Games Workshop, Private Press, uh, you can email us at tabletopadventures at gmail dot com. Or you can visit our website where we have all our information at tabletopreneurmentors.com. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the video, please subscribe. Um, we, we, we'd love to have you. And we'll catch you next time.